Hello, everyone, and welcome to Bay Area Focus. I'm your host, Michelle Griego. We have a packed show today. Plays, charities, stars, and music. But first, how about some good food and wine? It's that time of year again. The Hall Cabernet Cook-Off is happening soon in Napa. And here to tell us all about it is Mark Doman, executive chef at One Market, and Emily Harrison, VP of Direct Relationships at Hall. So welcome to Bay Area Focus. I must say, anyone who brings wine and food is a friend of mine, so thank you for that. You're, You're welcome. welcome. It <laughs> smells delicious. All right, so let's talk about the Cabernet Cook-Off. This is a great event. Yeah, this um, is in its ninth year, uh, and it's all in the name of charity. So the way that it works is we have 14 Bay Area chefs that partner with local charities and really compete on their behalf. Uh, the chefs are trying to find the best dish that will pair with our Hall Core Cabernet, and they showcase it at the event. Uh, all of the guests get to taste all the food, all the wine, and then vote for their favorite. How do you pick which chefs? Compete. We um, reach out to a lot of returning chefs. So Mark has been a, a four-time winner, um, and so I believe it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> returning champ. Uh, and then we always try and find some new chefs as well, just people who are doing really cool things in the, in the valley and in the Bay Area. Chef Mark, tell me about the competition and how. I mean, is it pretty stressful or fun? It is a little. It is, it's a little bit stressful because you have to. You know, you you don't want to lose. You want to win for your charity. Um, and then you know, every year, like I try to switch it up every year. So I don't want to redo the same dish that I did the previous year. Um, and that makes it a little bit more challenging because you know now you got to start thinking outside the box as far as food and wine pairing. So you've won four times? I have, yeah. Okay, so what is that secret you have that keeps you a winner? Well, I think we just keep, you know, we taste the wine and we make sure that it pairs well with the food. Um, some teams, I think, they don't necessarily do that all the way. Um, and so the professional judges, there's four There's four winners. Um, there's the two people choice, people's choice winners and then two uh, that the judges choose. Um, so it's, you know, it's a nice mix up. Okay, so I, I mean, the smell is so delicious, so I think we need to taste it. Um, yeah, Tell so this me was, what I'm eating. So this was from last year. This is uh, my dish from last year. It's a red wine risotto. Um, that's okay. It's a red wine risotto. Oh, well, it has he's some. Chef. He's on call. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I turned it off. Um, has some gizzards, uh, smoked duck gizzards, a little bit of mushroom, and uh, so the red wine. You know, pairing the red wine with the red wine and the risotto helps helps make that balance. Okay, and the wine. Yeah. So this is um, the 14 Core Cabernet, uh, and it is from the Valley Floor. So uh, that's why we call it Core because it's from the heart of the valley. And there's a lot of blackberry in this. There's um, some uh, deep, deep plum, dark plum, uh, probably a little spice, some clove. Okay. Yeah. So we drink and then eat. That's Sounds right. good to me. That's good. <laughs> That's delicious. Mm. Okay. So I have to put this on my dress. <laughs> <laughs> and again, tell me what this. So. Mm. It's a little risotto made with Aww. some red wine. Has a little duck gizzard in there, and then uh, that's the part that kind of makes people, you know, mm -hmm. challenges them a little bit. It does. Mm -hmm. And then you have the mushrooms, the earthiness, and so the earthiness goes with the wine, the richness of the gizzard, and then the the red wine, you know, helps make that marriage. Yeah, that's a good mix. I can I have another drink. Yes, yeah, sure I can. <laughs> Why not? I'm the host. I can do whatever I want. <laughs> So going on um, about this event, it's a pretty amazing event because it's raised so much money so far. It has, yeah. Um, it really is all about the charities. And every year, Craig and Catherine Hall, our owners, they challenge us to um, raise more money for the charities. So this year we're super excited because we have a um, silent auction for the first time ever, um, which is a new element. And then we also have... Um, what we're calling a charity grove, where the charities can actually speak to the guests about all the good work they're doing in the community. And what kind of charities are we talking about? Oh, we have a little bit of everything. Uh, Napa Little League, the Humane Society. Um, I believe you bring back Calabria Care every year, right? I do. What is it? Cal Calabria Care. Calabria Care, what is that? It's, uh, it used to be Napa Valley Hospice, and they, they changed their name. So they do a lot of amazing work. 
Okay, that's great. And you know, the Bay Area, we is so generous and so giving, and so uh, I'm sure a lot of people show up and give money. And absolutely, and we're raising money for these charities. Well, thank you so much for bringing the food and the wine, of course. And good luck. Thank you. And I know. Pressure's on. The pressure is on to be a fifth time winner. <laughs> and don't forget Napa's biggest food and wine challenge, the Hall Cabernet Cook-Off. It is happening Saturday, April 28th at Hall St. Helena. Proceeds go to local charities. And for more information, you can log on to hallwines.com. Coming up, Head Over Heels, not the song, it's a new musical when Bay Area Focus returns.